All right, guys, happy hump day. It's Wednesday, it's 35 degrees outside, and we're heading off to the sawmill with a load of wood to make into boards, and uh, some will make into firewood. So we got Old Blue, which is the 88 F250 with a 7.3 IDI diesel engine, five-speed transmission. We got her loaded up this week with a couple piece of wood here. Um, so this is a red oak. We've got five pieces of red oak. This is red oak here. It's not, we don't really need it. So I thought I'd bring it for the guys to make firewood out of. But this one, these two on the right, lower right here, this is a white oak. Well, one of them is eight and a half foot long, one of them is 17 foot long or 16 foot long. I'm hoping we can make fence boards out of it. Um, you can see the white oak, the long one here. But I don't know if it's gonna work or not because it's kind of a cockeyed piece of wood. <laughs> so we may have three eight foot sections. Got seat belts on, trailer loaded up. I think we are ready to rock and roll. Assuming the old blue decides to start. So uh, she actually usually, usually starts quite well. Not a problem with that. Wait for the glow plug light to go off. It says wait to start. Now it's a start. So. Yeah. Let it warm up for just a couple seconds here. Um, people think these things always need plugging in because it's a diesel engine. It's not, it's 35 degrees out, but the reality is if you have the glow plugs in good shape, your fuel injectors in good shape, very important, a good starter um, and good battery cables. You don't need to deal with starting either and you don't need to deal with plugging it in at night. Now maybe when it gets to be zero degrees where it's cold, but in Maryland where we live, it's just not that cold. So, let's see. I think we're about ready to go. Looks like the brake control is working. Put that up on pretty high because we got a big load on here. Good way to cool the leaves out of my uh, trailer too, just driving around moving. Heavy loader, I feel like to me for first gear. For second gear. Rutland Road, and Rutland Road is a rolling road. 
it used to be a rolling road where they would roll hogsheads full of tobacco down to the river to put on boats. my neighbors behind me, but they can wait. Drink your lattes, it's okay, but a cup. Don't drop it. Perfect.
So a slight change of plans here. I was hoping to get some uh, 16 foot long white oak fence boards out of that white oak, but the tree is really too bent, the log's too bent to make anything useful out of it. So instead, okay, we've got this guy from Baltimore and he has an interest in getting some shoring made up basically for the steamboats at his museum. So it'll go to a good cause. Okay, so we've got this uh, 16 and a half foot white oak log, which I was hoping to make fence boards out of, except it's got a big bend in the middle of it, so that's not gonna work out. So instead, we're gonna cut it up into three foot lengths, and then uh, this man here wants the wood, so tell us your name, please, and what we're doing with this. Uh, my name is Walt Mathers, and I'm with the Baltimore and Chesapeake Steamboat Company. We're a nonprofit here in the, uh, the region. Uh, and I guess the region runs from Cape Charles and Cape Henry up to uh, the, the C&D Canal. <laughs> That's pretty. But we're, uh, we're a, a feel-good group. We're a do-gooders, a bunch of do-gooders. And we, uh, we're looking for, for logs. Just like and uh, we think it's a match made in heaven. You all love to cut wood, and we all love to use it for, uh, for our ships. And we've got uh, three ships uh, that many people don't know about. Uh, they may know about the one, that the John W. Brown, which is the, uh, one of two remaining Liberty ships in the world. And we have uh, the Charles D. Gaither, the 1940 Charles D. Gaither that was uh, that was launched at Sped the Shipyard at, uh, uh, let's see, what, uh, it was launched in, in uh, Canton. So it's uh, Baltimore City's first all-steel police patrol boat. And we need bilge blocks for the Gaither. And the Brown is going to be needing uh, uh, blocks as well. They do a lot of things. They, remember that the ships have been made out of wood for hundreds of years. But even though we today we still use ships for, oops, we even though we <clears throat> we uh, we build our ships out of steel and and used to be iron, uh, we still need a tremendous amount of wood. And uh, you all have a, a, an ample supply. The, the Lord has blessed and uh, continues to bless. And we're going to have. Uh, Hopefully some keel blocks and wedge, wedge blocks, uh, bilge blocks. And uh, we really appreciate your doing this. Now it seems that we're getting ready to crank up over here on the other side and uh, so it's gonna get a little noisy. Uh, I guess a bit, I guess this, this, what I call noise would be music to your ears, wouldn't it? There you go. And here we are, we're getting ready to start. And this is great, I love it. All right, yeah, so what we're gonna do with this guy here, thank you for that talk. Okay, can, I, can I just say one more thing? Please? One more thing. Okay, if you're interested in what we're doing, uh, you can come to us at bayheritage.org. And uh, anytime, day or night, we're always open on the internet and uh, we're getting ready to cut some wood over here. So thank you ever so much and appreciate it. You, you allowing us to take a little bit of your time. All right, well spoken, all right. And we're gonna take this 16 and a half foot one, which I thought would be fence board, so that's why I dragged it here. We'll cut it into six foot pieces, and then one foot by one foot blocks. And then what we'll do is we'll cut it into what he's looking for, three foot long, one by one. We'll be good to go. In the meantime, let's get this machine going. So instead of trying to drag this 17 foot log onto our rack, we decided to cut it into two pieces. So now we've got a seven foot piece. It will be seven and 10. We've got a seven foot piece and a 10 foot piece, and it'll make it a lot easier to put it on the rack and load it, and we cut it. So I'm gonna kinda, I'm gonna kinda cut it right at the bend. Step here is Tom's gonna load this white oak up for the steamboat guys, and well, they will get them cut today, but I don't think so. But uh, we'll see what happens here. May need a little bit of help. Hang on a 
looks like him. He's got it. He's a master. Good job. Good job, Tom. Woo!
another piece of this 12 inch by 12 inch white oak that we milled today and then we'll cut it into like 36 inch pieces a little bit longer than that so i think we'll get uh, we got two out of last one we got three out of this because this was a 16 and a half foot log 16 divided by three about five so let's see how this goes Okay, thank you for watching another episode of Wayne's World Garage. I hope you liked this show. If you did, please click subscribe, give it a thumbs up. And please, please leave a comment. Tell me how to improve this or tell me what you like or what you don't like. Thanks and have a great Thanksgiving.